Bakın Do all of you Let us continue The conjunctions I gave some examples regarding coordinate conjunctions in last class Today I will give some more examples for your better and best understanding Let us see regarding coordinate conjunctions Example Listen here My friend came to my house and gave me a notebook My friend came to my house See that My friend came to my house and gave me a notebook and gave me a notebook This is first class Kapo class Gave me her notebook She gave me her notebook This is second Kapo class Here the end The end Quadrant conjunction joins two classes. Two classes. My friend came to my house, my class, and she gave me her notebook. And she gave me her notebook. This is another second class. First class, and this is second class. So, couple classes. This is. So, these two classes. Join together by coordinate conjunction and understand. Let us see another one. You may take it or you may throw it. <coughs> see that. You may take it. First simple sentence. First simple sentence. You may throw it. Second simple sentence. Second simple sentence. You may take it. You may take it and you may throw it. You may take it and you may throw it. You may take it, first simple sentence. You may throw it, second simple sentence. These two simple sentences join together by the coordinate conjunction R. Understand? You may take it, first simple sentence, or you may throw it. Second simple sentence. These two simple sentences join together by quadratic conjunction R. Understand? Let us see another one. He was careless, so he fell. He was careless, so he fell. He was careless, so he fell. He was careless. First simple sentence. So he fell. Another simple sentence. He fell. Another and it means second simple sentence. These first and second simple sentences joined by so. Joined by so. This is coordinate conjunctions. Understand? He was careless. So he fell. He was careless. First simple sentence. He fell. Second simple sentence, these two simple sentences joined by so coordinate conjunction. Same, simple sentence and simple sentence, class and class. Okay, like this, same rank. The third, next word, he will pass in first class, he will pass in first class for his studies hard. He will pass in first class for his studies are. He will pass in first class. Why? Because his studies are like this. He will pass in first class one simple sentence. His studies are another simple sentence. These two simple sentences join by the quadrant conjunction for. Join by the Coordinate conjunction for. So these two simple he will pass in the first class for he studies 
I understand. He studies are also second simple sentence. He will pass in first class. That is also first simple sentence. First simple sentence and second simple sentence join together by the coordinate conjunction for. Okay. Let us see. I will give you the class example. Observe here. You must study this chapter. You must study this chapter, which is somewhat difficult to understand. Which is somewhat difficult to understand and which is also important in view of the examination. Okay. You please observe keenly. You must you must study this chapter. This is main class. This is main class. Main class means independent class. Independent class. I will explain what is main class. What is subordinate class? What is dependent class? What is independent class? In phrases and classes, classes. Now you can understand. You must study this chapter. This is main class, which is somewhat difficult to understand. This is first subordinate class. First, which is somewhat difficult to understand. Which is somewhat difficult to understand. First subordinate class and which is also important in view of the examination. This is second subordinate class. This is second subordinate class, which is also important in view of the examination. This is second subordinate class. Subordinate class means dependent class. Okay. Listen here. You must study this chapter. This is main class. Or also it is called independent class. Which is somewhat difficult to understand. This is first subordinate class. And which is also important in view of the examination. This is second subordinate class. These first subordinate Class and sub second subordinate class joins together with main class that is you must study this chapter which is somewhat difficult to understand and which is also important in the view of examination see the coordinate conjunction and this coordinate conjunction this coordinate conjunction joins one main class and two subordinate class two subordinate class okay like this <coughs> coordinate conjunctions joins the same parts of speech or joins the same or same rank of their quality okay so simple sentence simple sentence it joins class and class, adjective and adjective, adverb and adverb. Okay, now I hope you are all understand clearly what is meant by coordinate class. Okay, and but so far are these five are the coordinate class, these coordinate, coordinate, coordinate conjunctions. These coordinate conjunctions joins the same parts of speech are same sentences of its own rank. Okay, let us see the second main classification that is correlative conjunctions. First, we have main four conjunctions: coordinate conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, subordinate conjunctions, and compound conjunctions. So, second one. First one coordinate conjunctions over, second one correlative conjunctions. Let us see what is correlative conjunctions. Okay, correlative conjunctions. Why we call these uh, conjunctions as correlative conjunctions? Because 
The following are the coordinate contributions because they are in time. They are not single, like and, like one, like so, like for, or like are. Okay? These are pairwords. Pairwords. That are, those are either or, neither nor, to H, no singular, whether or, both and, not only, but also. All these are correlative conjunctions. Or <coughs> these are coordinate or correlative conjunctions. Which are the correlative conjunctions? Either or, neither nor, though at, no sooner, whether or, both and, not only, but also. Not only, but also. All these five, seven, all these seven. Correlative conjunctions. Okay. I will give examples for each and every correlative conjunctions. Let us uh, see one rule is also there here. Rule. When we use this singular subject, after each of these, neither na, neither are, neither na. Correlative, correlated words. The word must be in the singular number. The word must be singular number. This is rule. If you put the plural verb, your sentence construction wrong. Okay? Listen. When we use the singular subject, after each of these correlated words, in the word must be in the singular number. Understand? See that. Example. Either Gopal or Rama is able to do this work. Either Gopal or Rama. Either Gopal or Rama is able to do this work. It means what? Gopal also able to do this work or Rama also able to do this work. Either Gopal or Rama is able to do this work. See there, singular subject, singular verb. Singular subject, singular verb. Okay? And next, neither Hari nor Lakshmi is here. Neither Hari nor Lakshmi is here. Nobody is here. Lakshmi is also not here. Hari is also not here. So, neither Hari nor Lakshmi is here. Ne ne negative. Never like that. Neither Hari nor Lakshmi is here. Hari is also not here. Lakshmi is also not here. Okay, note here one more important note. I would like to uh, bring your concentration to this one. Let us see. When we use present tense of the permanent male verb with neither, nor, or never, it gives the sound do not or does not. Do not or does not. When we use the past tense of the permanent main verb with neither, nor, or never, it gives the sound did not. Did not. Understand? This is very important here. When we use the present tense of the permanent main verb with neither, nor, or never, it gives the sound do not, does not. When we use the past tense of the permanent main verb with neither nor and never or never, it gives the sound did not. Okay? Thank you children. I will give you one more example for this. It is neither useful nor ornamental. It is neither 
useful not argumental it is useful not useful also and it is also argumental it is not argumental also like it is neither useful nor argumental okay i will give you the examples regarding though at no sooner whether or both and not only but also in next class understand my dear students this correlative conjunction is the main second division coordinate conjunction correlative conjunction subordinate conjunction and proper conjunctions is right now first coordinate conjunction over this is correlative conjunctions why we call them correlative because they are in time they are in pair not single word they are in pair like this either or neither nor though and no sooner whether or both and not only but also like this okay i hope you may understand this well clearly okay thank you students next i will continue do act no sooner whether or both and not only but also with suitable examples and i will give you in the middle rules note also do concentrate on rule do concentrate on note because these rule and note provides the situations conditions and hints to better understand okay thank you children thank you do watch this channel and subscribe this channel okay then only you will get further updates okay thank you students thank you